We want to also dive into the technical nitty gritty of just how these city coins work. And joining us now for a deep dive is city coin community lead Patrick Stanley, who joins us now. Hello there, Patrick. So, how does the how do these city coins work? You you have Bitcoin, uh, and I, I understand the Stacks protocol is a side chain that is parallel to the Bitcoin blockchain, and these city coins are basically a DeFi project on on stacks. So maybe you can walk us through. Yeah. Um, let me just take a step back and say like what Suarez just announced is like pretty insane. He just turned his city into like an oil producing country that gives Bitcoin yield to its citizens. Like that is incredible. And that wouldn't be possible without stacks. So, um, so stacks is just smart contracts on Bitcoin. Um, you mine stack. You mine stacks um, by instead of spending electricity like you spend with Bitcoin, you spend Bitcoin to mine stacks. And so that Bitcoin is forwarded into the Stacks protocol. It generates a yield for um, for holders of stacks, now including Miami and its citizens. And um, with City Coins, um, what we've done as a community is we've actually just generalized that exact mining process. The mining process is called proof of transfer. And I like to call it recycled proof of work. Um, and so instead of taking Bitcoin to mine Miami coin, you take stacks to mine Miami coin, you forward it into uh, the mining protocol. So, uh, so mining, wait, I, uh, you know, is that just because I know you call it mining. It's a little bit confusing because it's not p folks with ASICs that are trying to mine for a stacks. Right. It's you're taking your Bitcoin and you, I guess you're trading it for stacks and you're putting it into a smart contract and you may or may not get city coins out of it, Miami coin or New York city coin. And, and so right. it, it's almost, it's almost like a charitable thing, giving uh, your stacks away to this smart contract, which benefits the city. It's and, a one way. Yeah. Yeah. It's a one, it's a one way transfer. It's one way transfer. And just like when you spend electricity with your Bitcoin mining rig, and if you don't win a block, you know, there's, there's a chance of not winning a block. Um, in this but case, you're seeing you're, that a lot of folks want to mm -hmm. do this, this one-way transfer. I mean, they want to, you know, give away their Bitcoin in the hopes of benefiting the city. Is that the the idea here? That's correct. I think it's more of like a win-win-win thing. So, you know, folks are um, folks are trans. Well, in order to get city coins, they're transferring stacks, um, and so um, they're they're hoping to get Miami coin. And now, and and in about two hours. Uh, two to three hours from now, they're hoping to also be able to get uh, New York City coin. They'll mine, that's a whole separate token that they can mine separately. Um, yes, they ben and then you know they benefit the city as well. So there's a, there's altruism and self interest uh, in the same in the same you know uh, move essentially in the same action. So so exactly then uh, if you could repeat how, how exactly are they going to earn yield? I mean we we hear these high yield numbers coming out. Four hundred thirty percent annual percentage yield. I mean wow. Yeah, I you know I I I like uh, I honestly honestly don't like to quote it quote uh, quote it in yield because um, essentially what's happening is um, thirty percent of what's being forwarded in um, in stacks as a miner as miners goes directly to the city. And that's why the city's uh, wallet is at, you know, $21 million or so. Um, but the remaining 70% goes directly to all the existing holders of, um, of Miami coin, which there are, there are you know, tens of thousands of at the moment, you know, a few months in. Um, so as the holders grow, as the, um, as the supply grows, um, the yield will sort of asymptotically, um, uh, sort of go down nominally. Now, um, if the value of the of the of the cryptocurrency goes up over time and the demand outstrips, then um, the actual the actual like you know the nominal yield will stay the same, but the yield will actually could could go higher if you're if the price is going up. Mm -hmm. So, how can you actually trade these coins? I, I, I mean, can you can you trade it in the U.S.? Uh, can you trade New York City coin? In New York City, which has ridiculously uh, hard um, uh, Onerous, regulations yeah. through <laughs> debt <yeah>. license, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> debt license. Um, well, you know, like Eric Adams is meeting with meeting with you know um, meeting with folks in Albany right now, like trying to 
And, and note, I'm not saying he's trying to get bit license removed today, but um, no doubt he's trying to get bit license lessened or removed. He that's his first order of business. That is the number one thing. Um, so, you know, he's. I gotta say, like, you know, Mayor Suarez was like. It's pretty pretty hard to argue there's a better mayor for crypto than Mayor Suarez, and Eric Adams does want to compete with him, and he's going to have to get rid of that that bit license that doesn't make a whole lot of sense to have in the first place. Um, he's got to get rid of that thing, so he's gonna he's gonna he's gonna work on he's gonna work on that. And if he can't get rid of that, then you know that's a loss for New York. So the, this is a crypto community led project that is basically benefiting cities. You, uh, city coins first chose Miami. Uh, why did they choose New York City, given the you know past uh, unfriendliness toward crypto? And uh, with the introduction of NYC coin, will that potentially take away from uh, the benefits the, in uh, that Miami is earning? No. So so. Uh, yeah. So two two things. First of all, um, a rising tide lifts all boats. Um, you know, a city coins ecosystem can't exist without more than one city. Um, and what we need to do as a you know community is start to um, you know build out these protocols further and further, uh, and have them mature and attract more people to them. Um, but I will say, um, I will say. Uh, if there's any detraction from from another city, um, I think that's a temporary thing. And I also think um, I think it's a very positive sum sort of thing. Like people mining, people mining the NYC coin will mine Miami coin. Um, and your other question was um, sorry, I'm trying to remember. It's like six a.m. here. Um, <laughs> what was your other question? <laughs> no problem. It, you, if the introduction of New York City coin will take away from the benefits that Miami coin has having, uh, you know, accumulated $21 million in worth of benefits for that will go toward the city. Oh, that, and, and why did yeah, you choose New York? Away. Yeah. Um, so the community voted on New York. It was pretty, pretty, pretty easy. It's pretty easy um, decision. So, you know, Eric Adams goes on Bloomberg and says, I got my, you know, my friend Francis Suarez, um, you know, is first mover he's a leader and he's got this mining coin thing that's going pretty well i'd like to go in that direction i want to have a friendly competition with him those are <laughs> the words he said our community our community said All say right. no more um say no more. well you know and it got activated the competition is and on where can we buy it I, the, yeah right in where, where can you actually yeah. buy it though where, where can you actually oh. trade it that, that was, well, that was only, my you, initial you, question <laughs> So any exchange is free to list uh, New York City Coin. It's an open source project, um, and you know there's no there's no dev fund, there's no ICO, there's no pre mine. So the only way to get it for um, probably the next few weeks or next couple of weeks is going to be um, through mining it. So if you mine uh, New York City Coin, that's 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 the primary way to, to get it. And but many that is so confusing it. that it, that you call it mining because you're not actually mining in in the traditional sense of you know how you do Bitcoin mining, but you're, I guess, buying stacks and sending it to this smart contract, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. 